The overall goal of this procedure is to generate engineered muscle tissues. This is accomplished by first culturing satellite cells or a myoblast cell line to achieve the required number of cells. The second step is to make the anchoring points. Next, the cells are mixed with a gel and the resulting mixture is cast between the anchoring points. The final step is to differentiate the cells into muscle tissue. Ultimately, electrical stimulation can be used to induce contractions of the cells and fluorescent staining and fluorescent or confocal microscopy can be used to detect the sarcomeric organization of the cytoskeleton in the differentiated muscle cells. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods is that the muscle cells will align in one direction in these tissues. This technique also has implications for patients that suffer from muscle loss. If we, for example, use patients' own cells in the future to make these tissues, these can be used for transplantation purposes. This method provides insight into the development of muscle and muscle damage, but it will also provide insight for novel applications like regenerative medicine and in vitro cultured meat. Demonstrating the procedure will be Ariane van Spreeuwen. Methods for isolating and freezing murine myoblast progenitor cells have been described elsewhere. Please consult the written protocol for full references. After retrieving the vial of mouse myoblast progenitor cells from liquid nitrogen, place the vial in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius to thaw. Then add 10 milliliters of warmed growth medium to a 25 centimeter squared major gel coated tissue culture flask. As soon as the cells are thawed, add the contents of the vial to the media in the tissue culture flask. Incubate the cells at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. On day 3 of incubation, harvest